Is on the video. Okay. So this is the video that I want to do. I'm going to scroll to the bottom, and I'm going to click Share. They're going to give you three options, Share, Embed, or Email. You want to focus on the section that says Embed. It basically here gives you a code to give you a little bit of a run through. You can choose the video size that you want. You can even customize the size that you want. You have three options here. Show suggested videos when the video finishes. Enable privacy enhance mode. And if you want information, you can always click on the, the question mark. And you'll be able to read a little bit more on what, on what that is. Then you can use, um, use old embed codes. Sometimes, some, some, depending on how the website is and how old they haven't updated it. Sometimes this new code will not work with that site, so this is like a backup. So let's say that you want to install, you know, you want to take this video at the size of 560 by 315, but you don't want it to show any videos towards the end. You're going to uncheck this, and it'll be able to, and then it'll add a, a snippet to the code where it allows it for it not to show suggested videos towards the bot to the end. So what you're going to do, you're going to copy this. And I'm going to start off in the total control system. So I'm going to go to my total control. I'm going to make a page. And then what I'm going to do in total control, I'm going to zoom in to see if you can see it a little bit more. I'm going to go to the HTML button. And in here, a pop-up will come up. And then what you want to do, you just want to paste it in there. Okay? In total control, what's going to happen is that you're going to get this weird yellow box but not really see the video. So as long as you have that in, so as long as you see that appearing, it shows, okay, it was inserted. Click Save. And then I'm going to go to the page. I'm going to just refresh my page. And I'm going to go to test video because that's the page I created. And there you go. I have my single page with my video that I want to play. Now, you also have another option. Let's say that you go to a specific channel. And especially that the section that you want to add, you want to be able to App, upload your playlist. So typically what you would like to do is like let's say I'm going to click on this one. And as you can see here there's a couple of other videos that are in this specific um, folder or playlist. So what you want to do if you want to add your whole entire playlist you're going to do the same process. You're going to go to Share, Embed, and then it gives you this extra option that says Share with a playlist starting from current video. If you were to select, let's like, say, the third video, and I would still want it to start it from there, I will click on it and leave it from that with that option starting from current video. Or you have another option, the start of the playlist. Typically, I like to put the start of the playlist so it has everything in there. You choose, you, make, you choose the size that you want. We're going to go with the default, which is 560 by 315. Take this. Copy it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my test video page, and let's say I just want to replace it. So I'm going to go back to the HTML tab and paste, highlight everything and paste. Save it. Still going to show that yellow box. Okay, I'm going to go to my page and I'm going to refresh. And then as you can see, it still looks like one, but in the upper left-hand corner you have playlists. When you click on it, it will show all of your video playlists. This is one of the other options that you're able to do, which is easy and simple to do, and it takes, as you can see, it only takes a couple of seconds just to get your playlist all together in one, in one section. Now. I'm going to show you how to do it on WordPress. It's the same, almost the same process. Just create your page, and instead of going to Visual, 
you can go to tax. And in tax, what you can do, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the same code that I took in here, the same procedure, and paste. Visually, when you go to the Visual tab in WordPress, you're just going to see a gray box with a little icon that says video on it. And then what you want to do, you want to put publish. I'm just creating a temporary new post just to get the idea. Okay. So I'm going to put view post. And here's my video with my playlist. And it's just simple as that. One, two, three. And to give you an idea, this is one, just to give you an idea, here's how a pop-up works. I basically just click the link and I got a pop-up, and there goes my YouTube video. And now, just to go back to the different options, now that you see that you are able to share your to share your your videos with a developer's help, you can actually get it a little bit more customized. As you, of course, I showed you how to do a single page with video. You don't have to add just one video for one page. You can always add it right under right under the next. For the media library, depending on how you have your site currently set up, you can have different thumbnails, what we call thumbnails, or little small images. So when you click on them, it either takes you to a single page with a video, or you have it with the option that you can have a pop-up. And here's where my references are based on what we went over. And that is the YouTube webinar. Do you have any questions?